What's up YouTube, I'm Zabon33 with a quick video on how to install the advanced HUD mod on Minecraft 1.3.2. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to open the first link that I've provided in the description and you'll come up to this Minecraft forums page. Scroll down to where it says advanced HUD 4.7.3 for Minecraft 1.3.2. Click on it and your page should load into a uh, well, a new page. It won't come up as a new window unless you want it to. Next up, you'll come up to an ad fly page. And you just have to wait a couple seconds. And then you click Passer l'annonce. Well, for me, uh, for you, it will be skip ad. And then you click on it. It should download as a zip file. If you don't have WinRAR, then you won't be able to open this file. Next thing that you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to drag it to your desktop to your desktop to have easy access. Now some people might be thinking to open it up, but that's not what you have to do. You first have to install mod loader. And if you don't know how to install mod loader, I will provide a annotation right here on how to get mod loader easily. Next thing you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to go to your startup menu and search here percent app data percent and then click on roaming next up you'll want to go to your dot minecraft folder and if you don't already have one go to your mods folder once there just drag and drop the advanced HUD 4.7.3 zip file into here now I already have it so I won't actually drag and drop it as you can see, I already have it in my mods folder. So once you have mod loader and you have put this in the mods folder, you should be done and you should be good to start up Minecraft. So I'll just start it up here to prove to you that it's working. Just a second. Alright, there we go. So right now I'll just change the texture pack so that you guys can be more familiar with what I'm doing. So over here I'm going to go to my mod test world and we're going to see if it has worked. Alright, so yes, as you could have seen right here, I do have a guns mod installed. Uh, I don't know whether I should show how to do that or not. So yeah, as you can see, my uh, my uh, cross uh, crossbar. Uh, don't know how to call it. It's different. And right now I just press E. Shouldn't have done that. And oh, there we go. I press H, and I have the little menu that pops up here, and I can reposition everything. So just for the sake of it, just for the sake of not repositioning everything. I'm going to type down slash game mode zero and there you have it I am now in survival mode and as you can see my HUD is different I have the health bar on the top of the left side alright I blew off all ends to this place I have the armor bar in the middle of the left side the hunger bar on the bottom of the left side and on top of all of that, I also have a extra, which you cannot see right now. It is a extra... I'm just going to kill these guys. Okay, no, I just died. Um, there is also, uh, on top of that, there is the uh, hunger... I uh, know, the breath bar, which is also on top of uh, the health bar. So yeah, clearly as you can see the mod has worked and you can change your crossbars and all that. Um, I should show you how. So the first thing that you're going to be able to do is that you're going to be able to go to health bar, reposition it, change its style, change its orientation, and turn on fade. Which will make it so that after a certain amount of time the, the bar will actually fade. And you can do this for all of these bars. Except for the item bar. The item bar, you can only reposition it and change its orientation. Turn on numeric, 
numerical damage, which will make it so that if you start hurting an item, it will show up in numbers instead of a uh, bar. And as you can see, I've turned on fade. So if I go back here, look at the left side of the screen. I'm scrolling through right now, and it fades out. Uh, the XP bar, you can reposition it and change its style. Default and full width. Full width is just that it spreads across the entire screen. I prefer to keep it at default. And you can turn on fade. Next up, we have the level counter, which I forgot where I had placed that. But you can only reposition it. It's the numbers of what level you are. Afterwards, we have chat, which is where your little chat bar appears. Crosshair, which is that you can change your crosshair to any of these. Uh, and yes, there's a ton of space because you can actually upload your own custom crosshair. Next up, boss health for like the Ender Dragon. You can reposition it and turn on label on raw. Afterwards, you have the debug screen over here, which uh, can change everything that you want and what you don't want in the debug screen. Then you can go to global settings and you can enable and disable some uh, HUD pieces. Example, the health bar, you can actually turn it off so you have like infinite health I do believe. Armor bar, rest bar, hunger bar, item bar, XP bar, level counter, chat, crosshair, boss health, uh, the debug screen and the map, which if you turn it on, you actually get a map. So yeah, this is how to install the um, advanced HUD mod. And you know what else this is? This is Amazon123, signing out.